Hi, this is Hybrid Killer. We are reviewing the Allegra BR7650W from Balzer and the Emblem Surf Rod from Daiwa. Alright, here we will go. Alright, this reel. The reason why I bought this reel is because um, I was going kind of broke. Alright, and um, I was looking for a budget reel. And something big holds a lot of line, throws far, and with a bait runner. And I came across this while doing some research online. So I decided to purchase it. Uh, what I really like about it is the bait runner, which I haven't used yet. But what it, what it does is when you have like a live um, fish, uh, usually as a bait, uh, your fish could swim around taking your bait like kind of like around and then when a big fish hits it will take line without noticing that it's on a, uh, it's like resisting a line or something so other words it won't let go of your bait and then once you're ready you just reel like that and the bait runners turns off and you're ready to rock and roll and then you um, snag it or not snag it but like yeah. Yeah, um set the hook, not snag. Anyways, um I'm currently on twelve pound right now and at twenty pound, which is this spool over here, it's uh rated at four hundred yards, so twelve pounds should be roughly maybe almost five hundred yards. Small in diameter, you know. And um Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, the drag is pretty uh, set at I think like 16 pounds so even when you have the drag fully tight it's still set at 16 pounds for a big game and yeah pretty good stuff and um, talking about the drag I took it out like six times already but haven't caught a big fish yet you know been going big and going home and not going big and going home with a big fish you know just been going home <laughs> Anyways, um, drag feels pretty smooth, you know, but haven't had like a big fish on, so the drag haven't been, you know, screaming like uh, the other video, like the guard attack or man versus catfish. So, yeah, hopefully soon we will get a big fish. Hopefully, so we could test out more equipment and uh, upgrade maybe uh, the review. Um, for the most part, it's pretty good. All right, for um, eighty six dollars, it's not that bad. For pros and cons, we have bait runner for pros. Bait runner adjustable, it's pretty good. Uh, bait runner, once it's set, in order to turn it off, you just gotta like, as soon as you turn it, it should turn off. That's really good. Our big arm right here good for fighting power and the uh, big grip right here fits firmly between the fingers for tighter grip coming up to uh, the drag system uh, it's built in with seven ball bearing war shaft system dra uh, drag feels pretty smooth spins almost like a champ because it's soaked in water a couple times already uh, long, um, long toss spool Holds a lot of line, comes with the extra spool, and um, drag set is pretty good. And for cons, we have paint chipping on the drag, uh, the bait runner set, which is not so surprising. Setting it on rocks and you know laying it down on gravel and sand, you know, the typical fishing gear. And coming up to uh, the braille. Like as of right now, it won't um, click back, which is when you throw, it will flick back and uh, stop your line. And it might even snap your line depending on what weight or what lure you're throwing. But I uh, kind of figured out once you kind of just turn it, then it will just click like that. It will work just fine. And I don't know about that. Like. It's just free spins. Overall rating is um, a 4 out of 5 um, for a budget and uh, a lot of features, a lot of good quality parts.
4 out of 5 is pretty good to me. The Daiwa Emblem Surf Rod, 10 footer. Uh, it's, um, it's a 10 footer, meeting a heavy action, 3 to 6 ounces. Line weight is around 15 to 30 pounds and two pieces. So, this is what I needed. Didn't want a one piece. Lightweight, probably weighs a little less than a pound. Um, within budget range, $110, I believe. Yeah. Current, current big rod was um, snap when I was out fishing. Got hung up on a rock and tugged it a little too much and it snapped in half. So, had to go big. Or go home and need a new rod, so I wanted to throw it farther, um, higher quality, uh, tackle bigger game, and with better rings. So decided to purchase this rod. So far, um, throws pretty far on 12 pound with my Allegra reel. Throws about like 70. 70 yards for a uh, one ounce Yozori popper, top water lure. Not bad. Um, and um, overall, most throws pretty good. Pretty stiff. Fights fish pretty good. Um, just what I wanted. So far, rod is uh, 5 out of 5, man. Loved it.